My mum and dad, Mary and Wally, were really supportive of me surfing. I started out as just a 13-year-old grom, but when I started out at Isolated, John Jakovich helped with boards, Artie Sherburn helped me develop my surfing. We moved on to more modern boards, I developed my style of leaning the board over a hard and carving. But when I saw yelling up and down south, it really, really resonated with me and that's when my real surfing began. Hard bottom turns, big powerful reef waves. So when I went to Hawaii, it was just like being back at home in Western Australia, but just bigger and more powerful. I loved Sunset, I especially loved Heli Eva. And the opportunity to surf with the world's best surfers in those great big waves in Hawaii was amazing. Surfing at Waimea with Jeff Hackman was incredible. And I loved surfing in these huge waves, which was just sort of an extension of my surfing back as a kid in Western Australia. The Hawaiian waves just provided a bigger canvas to surf on. My biggest thrill was winning the Duke of Hanamoku contest in 75. And all through this, we were driving the limits of high performance surfing. All these stories and more you can read about in my first bio, Kanga Volume 1, written by Wayne Murphy and myself. So 2019 scenes Kanga Volume 2. We tell the story of the Bronze Aussies surf team, just a group of young, Aussie kids, good surfers, having a lot of fun, showing some aggro image, but effectively just promoting a brand and traveling around the world just being stoked surfers. I had to put this video in. It's one of my favorite waves at Backdoor Pipeline. Deep barrel, getting out with the spit. You know, the, you don't get many of these waves in your surfing lifetime and to find this video, was just really cool. In the mid 70s, Big Wednesday, Billy Cat, Billy Hamilton, John Milius, the director, PT, myself, Gary Busey, and Jay Riddle, we were all a crew that was building this amazing movie called Big Wednesday. And the final scene is I'm really proud of huge sunset beach, late behind the peak. And that was really a great time. But I wanted to come back. And this is a surf session in the final of the OP World Cup in 1980. Uh, my final big event win. And just a statement for me surfing Big Halley Eva. When you're up against the world's best surfers and you win, it's great. But it was time to move on. So I started event directing the OP Pro. Remember Tom Curran surfing there. And in this time, I formed the Association of Surfing Professionals, the first ever rule book, and the formation of the whole global surfing tour, which is now the WSL. The rule book was very, very important. Standard rules all over the world. But this time in California in 1986 ended with a riot. And you know, from there to now, I moved on getting awards and uh, being with some of my peers. But my love is coaching, winning world titles with the American team and recently winning a world title with Sean Pointer and Sup. But more than anything, I love to surf and I love to surf with my wife. These are the stories that are in volume two of Kanga.